So I just got back from my first hitch, as they call it, uh, as a tugboat chef. And um, it's very different from uh, the cruise ship. Uh, I, instead of cooking for 2,000 people, I was cooking for 10 people. Um, and unlike the cruise ship, they were all very appreciative <laughs> and super adventurous eaters. So it was a lot of fun um, to be cooking again and have my hand in food again. Because obviously on the ship, I was mostly a manager and uh, managed people more than got to be creative and uh, make a lot of amazing food. So, um, so yeah, so this was my first month. The way it works on the ATVs, the articulated tugboats, is you work for 30 days and then you have 30 days off and you're generally with the same crew. My crew is the Sea Alliance and um, it consists of three engineers, uh, four deck, two tankermans, and myself. So there were uh, 10 altogether. Um, our captain, who was awesome guy, Mike, he retired. It was his last hitch and the new captain will be Captain Chris, uh, who's my pickiest eater. <laughs> but he's also really sweet about it. Anyway, so let's start at the beginning. So here I am getting ready to head out to the ship. I am on a sea taxi, which they pay for. We have one pit stop on the way where we drop off a gentleman. And here are some beautiful views of the San Francisco Bay Area uh, from a very unique perspective. Here are some of my initial views of the galley. This is my room on the ship. Uh, you'll notice that there's quite a bit of personal protective equipment. The bathroom is pretty decently sized and there is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of storage there. TV, fan, desk, um, and that's about it. favorite favorite part of uh, being on the tugboat and only cooking for 10 people is having control of the menu and being able to be creative uh, be my own boss um, I really didn't have to answer to anybody as long as things were clean and the guys were eating <laughs> apparently the lady who was on there cooking before me did not do a very good job and uh, she was not clean and um, it was a real problem. Um, the young guy that you saw in one of the prayer pictures uh, actually had brought with him a suitcase full of protein bars uh, and granola bars in anticipation that she might come back and that he wouldn't be unable to eat this whole hitch. So um, they were pretty happy that they had a real chef that was gonna feed them. before I went on the ship that um, it was unsafe for me as a woman and that um, somebody would probably try to rape me. Somebody actually said those words. Uh, so I definitely want to um, comment on the fact that I was the only girl on the ship. Um, all of the guys that I worked with were incredibly respectful. Um, most of them were married. Uh, I believe they all had significant others. I never for one minute felt, felt unsafe in any way. Um, they were just incredibly respectful. Um, I definitely had the biggest potty mouth <laughs> of the group. But, um, but yeah, no, I always felt completely safe and very cared for, very um, looked out for by um, these amazing gentlemen. Here are a couple of my favorite guys on the ship. This is our engineering group, Josh, Paul, and Dylan. I'm not going to lie, the seas could get very, very rough when we were in transit. Our 
our shipping um, route was from LA to San Francisco and back again. We are moving petroleum pop products. Um, and so the ride up is, is pretty rough. The ride back is pretty rough. There were nights when it was hard to, uh, really hard to sleep. But those days are pretty rare. We're normally either in port or uh, more often than not, we're out at anchor. So we're out kind of in a quiet bay. There's good internet. <laughs> you can, you know, uh, it's kind of a more, more low key day versus being, you know, actually at sea where we're traveling or um, being in port where we're onloading or offloading of cargo. to just focus on the food. This is a test of the ship's rescue boat. As you can see, it's a single point davit. You'll see that um, John goes out and he pulls on this handbrake and is lowered to the water. They do this drill one time a month. We were doing various drills, including the fire drill, etc., cetera, um, at least three, three or four times a week on the ship. In conclusion, I've had a lot of friends and family ask me if I'll be going back. And right now that's absolutely my plan. The money is really good and the people were a lot of fun to work with. 